Fight Eve. And we're back in Britannia and beyond. For Golden Goblin Press. It is a forthcoming Kickstarter of theirs. Of the same name. For Cthulhu Invictus, which is basically Cthulhu in Roman times, and if you've never played it, check it out. I I own it, I run it, and it's awesome. If you like Cthulhu, and if you have any interest in history, check it out. So, we have taken this map, probably as far as we're going to take it, sans a few details. The frame around the outside. Around the outside, around the outside. I have some ideas for that. I can't wait to share. I've been percolating ideas. The key up at the top corner there. Romans didn't get, do keys, but you know, we've got to do something. We've got to have a scale bar. We've got to have something on there for 21st century players, right? And a title. So we're going to have a title up on that top corner. So frame, key, title. But before we get into that, labels. I want to put some labels on this map. Because, A, it will dial in the fonts we're using. And B, it will help me actually understand if I'm missing a settlement. That's the main thing. Like, there's a road that goes there. Where does it go? There's got to be something at the end. And the map we're working off has nothing. So there's definitely going to be a little bit, I think, of labels... Comparing to what I have to have on this map. And then determining if we need to add some things. And that's where I'm going to make the focus tonight. Tonight, Thursday night, is font night. Also, these little symbols here were drawn by Miss Jane. I They're kind of floating on the map right now. I want to incorporate them a little bit. Like, you know, this one is actually maybe half submerged and it's coming out of the waves and draw waves alongside of him. I'm not quite sure what I want to do with them yet. We'll figure that out. But, but they, they do feel a little bit floaty. And it may be that we just increase the opacity and we kind of like blend them, in, and them into the map a little bit. We'll experiment with that, but another time. Right now, we're going to do fonts. So with that said, we had. I, I want to do. I want to do settlement fonts first. There's going to be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four fonts on this. Well, four types of labels. They might be the same font, different sizes. Settlements. Areas such as um, the. Um, main tribal areas big labels for um like caledonia and hibernia and uh, like the name of britannia itself right and then the english label in small underneath each town you know like colchester you know that type of thing so we'll have in large the latin name and small underneath the English name. I think that's the way we're going to do it. Would an ancient ruin do do that? No, but I think we need it. I think we need it. As players, we need that. So, I didn't like any of these fonts from last night. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this a couple of times here. And we're going to play around the fonts. Can you search for fonts? Can you not search for fonts? I guess you can't, huh? Yeah, that's not obnoxious. Come on, I, I typed something. 
Respect my authority. Really? Alright, there's a shot to list. Copper plate. No, well I can't actually see what I'm doing here. Hold on. That's 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 not gonna work. Alright. Copper plate? Probably not. I'm trying to keep it Roman-esque, like, you know, it feels Roman, but not so thin that you can't actually read it. So we might have to break our rule a little bit. De Roman Regular. This is what I actually just downloaded. That might be a contender. I kind of like that one. Hey, princess! Hey, you! Playing with fonts. Playing with fonts. We're not making a decision yet. We're just like... Seeing what could even remotely work for town fonts. Not the larger ones. That's... See, that's definitely just not gonna work. That's just not gonna work. How was your day? My day was excellent. Thank you for asking. I feel like that's a pretty good font. How was your day? That's actually not a bad looking font. Uh, no, you know what? I, I, I actually changed my mind. I actually don't like that. Now it, now it's on there. I'm actually not a fan. Maybe. Maybe. Romanica Regular. See, I like that font. Doesn't particularly look Romanesque. But maybe for the small labels underneath the town. I don't know. Yeah, and I didn't think that one was going to work, which is a shame because I kind of like it. I don't like it. I like it, but I don't like it. Here's our regular Times New. See, Times New could actually freaking work, couldn't it? I mean, it really could. You suggested that last night, Princess. Oh, you didn't sleep well. On the flip, I watched the part of, of Picard. Maybe Giddy as an old school girl to see Patrick Stewart back in the month. A lot of people have said that they feel very emotional watching now. I don't want to subscribe to um, CBS, but eventually, when it becomes available on other channels, other streaming services, I, I, I will watch it. I love Stewart. We all do, right? VIP Roman Regular. Why do I have two of these? I feel like I've installed it twice. That's why. Uh, I was kind of hoping the VIP one would be better. It's not terrible. I just feel like this needs a little bit of weight, you know, like this. That was VIP. Cromwell, what? Oh, Rome is in Cromwell, okay. I was like, why is Cromwell showing up on this? Greco-Roman lubed wrestling. Well, hello, sir. Weekdays. Roman slant. Eh. Uh, maybe? Maybe? Let's 
try one more. Oh, I got. That's it, I'm not trying anymore. Hey, that's his hair! Which, which one do you think it, it was looking kind of Roman Das? Do you remember? The pilot, oh, the pilot's free on YouTube. Okay, that's cool. Well, yeah, they want you to do it so you then sub up, right, to CBS. Of course they do. So then, I'm still going to have to wait for all the other episodes because I'm just not going to watch them on um, CBS. <laughs> Alright, which ones of these do we discard? Like, this one I feel is too flimsy. This one is barely legible. This one I don't like. Not not in this context. So let, let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you. Get rid of you. I feel this one is a little bit too thin in parts, as is this one. I think this one could work really well for the larger areas, you know what I'm saying? This one and this one are actually very similar. But I prefer that one. This one is a little bit more like times. This one's got a nice weight to it, but is it too weighty? So with that said, this is probably too thin. Is it though? Is it? Try a couple of things here. Dash, you haven't, but you're also not seen anything with spaces between the words, and you've not seen anything written in English. We are going to have to have something that we Westerners in the 21st century can understand. I mean, if I'm going to literally, literally do this in Latin. It's going to end up looking like this. I mean, we, we have to... We have to, like, have a degree of latitude in what we're doing here. You know what I mean? I'm not convinced by the cap thing only, but neither am I dissuaded by it. And this is why I'm doing this. And here, here, here's where my head's at. Because we need the Latin name with the English name smaller and underneath. And I'm tempted to put the English name in lowercase. Ah, 
this is what I was after. Doesn't have the bloody... Oh, maybe there isn't an English name, so that was a terrible pick for the first city. Does our buyer not exist nowadays? Hey, play it here! Hello! Last laugh, 70. Good evening to you. Cave told you to come here. Go back to Cave and tell him that no one is the boss of you. Alright, I, I want to test this out. Our buyer. Settlement. Rome. Our buyer was a large Roman fort. Alright. Um, in South Shields, Tynon Weir. Now ruined. And which has been partly reconstructed. Okay. Okay, so it doesn't have an English version of the name. Okay. Alright. So I really actually want to experiment with a name onto a name. Okay, so let's do a Boracon. Right here. Are we feeling that... Well, that's actually then, so... Towards these heavier fonts, you know, less of this. That looks Roman, right? I mean, that looks pretty damn good. Now, I, I haven't got the font weight, size, color, and filters dialed in. Is that too heavy? I feel like that's not. I feel like that's pretty good. Because this is meant to be about our settlements, right? Maybe that's perfect. Maybe these are too thin. Let's try that. Let's try that one. Princess, thank you. Alright, then I'm actually going to just put these to one side for now. I like this forward slanting one, but not for this purpose. Maybe for... For Badlands or something, I don't know. Alright, so if we did something like that, what are our other settlements here? Ah, Corbridge! We could do totally Corbridge. Cool, yeah. Alright. Oh, not you. Oh, because I've, I've got bloody... I was on caps lock and then hit shift. All right. So then this would be courier. And I want to have a method for the labeling. I always like to have a, a, a you know, a, a theme. Whether it be directly underneath and then with the, um, the ones on the coasts, always top right type of deal. That doesn't seem to actually interrupt too much. That's actually pretty good. Maybe we maybe we shoot for underneath. In which case, on the coast, we'll shoot for underneath and to one side. Now what 
What's the name of this other one? Okay, 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 that one I can't pronounce. Nor can I see it anymore because of the way I did that, hold on. Is that two words? Is that one word? What am I looking at here? Logoov, Logoov, Logoova. Logoova Liam. I think that's two L's. Look over Liam. Okay, okay, look over Liam. Let's see how that looks on the map. Oh, that's a big name. Holy balls, that's a big name. Hello, Roman names. Maybe we could actually do the character spacing a little bit and just pull the letters together just a tad. Yeah, yeah well, actually, so... Princess, text in Photoshop by default is on its own layer. Each individual one is on its own layer. Um, but I will also be putting them in their own group. So, but you can see this in the top right here. They're each in, uh, individually on their own. And then we could do this. We could group them. Where's my group? Where's my group? Group me. Group me. Group. Group. Where's my group? Alright, well, we'll do that. So I normally do something like that. Labels done. And then um, I've got them all in here. And then what I do is I will convert my labels to a smart object. Which actually takes them out of this file and puts them to one side. And then I can edit them over here if I need to, but it, it's not, it doesn't have this huge file uh, burden uh, on this particular map. I'm not sure, so hold on a sec, hold on a sec, hold on a sec. Yeah, and th these aren't final positions, okay, Princess? Let's not get ahead of ourselves yet. Oh my god, everyone's like fucking complaining about the position of this. I'm still bloody, like, checking the bloody word. Here. There's no fucking hell now, is there? It's one word. It's definitely one word. I'm actually going to keep this map handy, because it's actually really crystal clear right there. Alright. I'm actually not even convinced about having it underneath, i got to be honest with you. I think having a certain degree of flexibility, but that's freaking awful. I think we need to get our, um, I'd like to typically do a stroke of a colour, or at least a drop shadow of it, uh, you know, to get this stuff to stand out. Seven months, princess, seven months, thank you so much. So let's say, for the sake of argument, we do, I'm, I'm gonna actually, uh, we're gonna practice on one of them. That, this one is actually one of the hardest to read, but uh, hold on a sec, this, this is what I wanted to do, this is what I wanted to do. I'm not sure this is going to actually allow me to do um, my character spacing right here. There we go. I'm bunching them up a little bit because um, it's kind of how Latin was, right? I don't want them touching necessarily, but I want to see what we can get away with. Alright, what was that? Minus, minus 75, yeah. That coast is hurting me, but we're gonna we're gonna add a stroke. We're gonna add a white stroke or something, okay? Maybe a yellow stroke, but we're gonna do something with that. 
So cooler, okay, so this one here is also gonna be minus 75. Oops, wrong one. Then this one right here. Don't start telling me to move these things yet. Not just yet. Oh no. That one's okay. Now, what if, what if, something like that, what about something like that, could even do a little bit of a drop shadow underneath it, right? Princess, I will allow what I just did to answer your question for you. That was the stroke I was referring to. And then... If we want to go one stage further... And get a little bit more contrast... I'm not saying we necessarily do this... But we could do a little drop shadow. Why is... Why did it change that drop shadow? Why did it change the drop shadow on my water layer? Was that on a global setting or something? Oh, I bet it was. Use global light. Get out of here. Get out of here messing with me like that. Right, this is just an experiment. It's just an experiment. So that also would create a little bit of extra contrast. I'm not sure if it's needed or not. But that's not a bad place to start. Alice in the... Hello! Hello! Hello's here! <laughs> Hello, have you seen this? You've been watching it online, I know you have. Yeah, I've, I, I don't think I've ever had global light checked before. I've literally never had it. I understand that. I get it. Set one global light for the whole map. I could totally dig that. I've never used it. That was the first time I've ever experienced it. Shadows! You know, so this is going to be something that we can experiment with, right? I'm going to just copy this layer, uh, this style. Yep, copy layer style. I'm going to play it to an actual labels folder here. And then we're going to get rid of it on here. So it automatically applies to all of the um, text that we're going to have in this particular folder. And we're going to call this town labels. No, no, we're going to call it labels settlements. So anything we put in there is going to be like that. See how well they stand out though too? Look how sexy that little bugger is right there. They actually look good. Even black with the yellow on, on the... That? That looks pretty nice. I'm okay with that. Alright, so with that said, with that done... I don't know, I mean... Do you think, do you think, do you think yellow is the right stroke color? Do you think that's standing out? I almost feel like I need to print this. Do you think black is the right color? Yeah, I don't want to 
want to start getting into that, right? Blues, reds, greens, maybe black, just to keep it simple. I guess I'm wondering if I should strike it in white. Maybe ocean blue for the labels over the ocean. That green look looks great on land. The green? The yellow green. Yeah. Yeah, like there's, there's a different stroke on those. I agree. So we'll have labels, settlements, land. Label, settles, war. But, but not changing that. We should probably keep them consistent, right? But anything that's going to be, like, on the ocean, we, we do um, a different colour. Yeah. Ocean blue. Yes, I agree. All right, let's, let's, let's pick another settlement. So this here, Coria, is called Corbridge nowadays. It actually still exists. So here, here's going to be the rub. We need two labels on some of these settlements. That's a good fun. And I don't want to do this in caps, right? I liked what Das Machine was saying about caps for the Roman names. I like that. And then we do lowercase for the modern day version. So what if... Core bridge. And we make that... What if we make it 12? We could change up the uh, stroke around it and stuff too, but... I feel actually we do need to change the stroke on the sub ones. Like that, I think it needs to be a smaller stroke or something. Yeah, alright, we're gonna, we're gonna mess around a little bit. Let's move him. Come on, move out, move out, move up there. Oh, you little bum flap, come here. Alright, you just come down here for now. And then we'll shut you down. We'll add a group here for labels modern. And uh, people are going to like, spaz out with that typing right there. So let's put you in there. Maybe, maybe that small is too thin. Maybe, maybe we need something that's actually small, but bold, thick, you know? Modern names in red. We could try red. I don't want them to stand out too much, but we could try it. We could experiment with colors, right? We're grown people. We can do whatever we want. Not convinced by this font. I'm not convinced by that font, like, at all. Yep, and he has one weight. Like, literally, what if we... What if we just go with a very smooth, simple font for the modern name? Like, what if we just do that? We can still stroke it and everything. I mean, that's probably a little bit too weighty. But what is, is that a half decent approach? That's probably a little bit too weighty, but you know what I mean? Modern name, modern fonts type of deal. Keep, keep the large fonts, all caps, in Latin. And then the translations for us peons in a, maybe a different font. I, I have a feeling it's the right approach. I have a feeling that's not the right font for it, though. No. What about just simple black gothic? Definitely not that. Yeah, 
they're definitely not that. Yeah. No, I think we need to stay away from italics and stuff and fancy fonts. I'm leaning really to simple, 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 simple. Yeah, definitely, definitely a different colour. And we're going to experiment with that. Different colour, maybe a little bit of a stroke. And maybe a little smaller. If we can get the right font, I think we can go smaller. I'm, I'm really leaning towards that gothic play. I would love to get away with that. I would love, love to get away with that. Yeah, I think it's going to be the gothic. I think it's going to be the gothic. It was gothic, right? Was it not gothic? It was it copper? Oh, it was gothic, gothic. Black gothic, that's the word. Okay, black gothic. Black Gothic, not black though. Oh, the irony. All right, so I want to indulge you. We'll try red with a white stroke. smaller. That's six pixels. Let's try four. Maybe three. So I like the style. I like the general approach. I think red is the wrong colour. I think red is just it's too in your face. I think I think it's too much. Imagine, imagine 20 red labels on this map, and I'm not sure zoomed out is really that legible. Okay, well, it started with a yellow stroke. Oh, it just reverted. I must have cancelled. Hold on. It might look better. I still don't... I'm not convinced red. I am not convinced red is the colour. We're at double print size right now. We're at poster size. I am not convinced the red is the approach. I don't, th I don't think it has clarity. I think all of the letters are blending together. And I think a whole bunch of red on the map is going to be visually distracting. Brian, I don't know if you're being serious or not. You want me to try Papyrus? I actually like Papyrus. I like Papyrus as a font, but I know that Papyrus has become the new Comic Sans. Hence me not knowing if you're serious or not. I wanted to try it. Is here. Well, Comic Sans gets a really bad rap. Come on. It's so overdone by Kathleen for marketing. 
from Penelope from HR. From Kathy who lost a cat. I mean, it's just like the go-to freaking font. Do I have not? Do I not have papyrus? What? I have something called Praetorium. Ooh. Do we do Praetorium? I, I, again, I don't think that's the colour. Let, let's try and dial in our colour. Can we get away with black? Can we get away with black here? Or darker red? Hmm. Definitely not. I mean, can we get away with that? No. No. I don't think we can. I don't think we can. I know the screen is different than print, but I don't think we can. We had a lab director that used her <laughs> to comic sense, and she put one of those wallpaper things in her email. Oh, God. I love people like that. It's like they're just new to the internet or something. They go, Ee! yeah, I love it. Yellow font with a red stroke. Look, I'll I'll be willing to try it. I don't think that's the font here, though. When I saw Pretorium, I got all excited. And I think the yellow was wrong on the stroke. No, I'm willing to try the yellow. I'm willing to try it. I'm willing to try it. Do you have another font in the same font family as the other? Oh, in this... What, this other? Yeah, but I'm trying to stay away from... That? I think I, the, the, this, these thin lines are not going to translate well down. I need I, I need something for the small font that is more modern, thicker. I, I'm I'm pretty darn convinced. We could also open up. Am I doing this on the right one? No. Oh. We could also open it up, as I was going to say. that a little and we had a vote for yellow and red did you say yellow thinking red is going to get on this map as, as part of a fun princess. I'm just not. I'm, 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 I'm just not digging it. I'm like not digging it at all. Garamond. 
I'll try Galmad. Gang Wolfic. I'll try it. Ariel Black. Jesus Christ. This slight design by committee right here. I've got a funny feeling we're going to get one label done tonight. That's like three different fonts completely. I'm, I'm not sure about this. For now, while we're experimenting, let's just leave it as black and yellow. Just for now. Let's not add in colours as, as an additional part of the formula. You know what I'm saying? Let's play with our fonts first. Um, oh, that meant to be down here. I don't think I have Ariel Black. I don't think I have Ariel Black. Oh yeah, I do. This is as good as I get. I mean, that's very similar to what we just did, right? So there's Ariel Black. I think that we'd need to make that smaller. But let's just stick with this for a moment. We had Ariel Black. Gang Wolfic, I've never heard of, so I'm pretty damn sure I do not have that. Garamond. We're going to compare them, okay? We're going to compare them next to each other. And I'm going to look for that Wolfic font. Where's my Garamond? What did they put Garamond on there? Hold on a sec. Alright, so apparently... E.B. Garamond. Alright, that makes sense, I suppose. Probably should go at least semi-bold, right? Extra bold? Extra bold? Alright, let's do extra bold. What else we got? Gang Wolfic. Gang Wolfic. Let's just take. We a won't. Gang Wolfic. What? Wolfic. 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 King Bashman is here. You're the one who's allowed to use that emote. But yeah, the gang one's not too bad, is it? Gang Wolfic. Oh, I don't think that's gonna work. Princess. It's an interesting font, but I think it is all kinds of wrong for this map. I don't, I don't think that one's going to work. Let's try, let's try the Garamond then. So let's get rid of this one. And then the question is, I mean, I, I'm not sure if this is truly indicative. I mean, I can read that. I can read that. I'm tempted to make it freaking white, though. I've got to be honest with you. White and a black stroke or something. Oh, don't take it to heart, princess. I appreciate the suggestions, but sometimes if I'm gonna, if I see something that's not gonna work, I'm just not gonna use it. But you don't take it personally. Come on. I want to play with the font color. Might compete too much. Do we swap them? Do we make the main font be white and black? And then the one underneath be black and yellow?
quick expand. Ah, uh, I've got it inside that folder. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I really shouldn't have created folders just yet. It's a little premature for this because we haven't got the style dis nailed down. So if we bring Courier out and I copy layer style and I drop it on air, paste layer style, and we make that font be white. Which is interesting. But the stroke is going to be a little heavier. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. That's right. Is it right? I think I actually picked up completely on that small... Hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. think that that's actually a little bit too much. Maybe three was about right. And then what if we then did core bridge in this color? So, hold on. What if we did... Well, in fact, I could... Yeah, okay, so core bridge we actually do in black. And we stroke it. in yellow this is just an experiment we can walk this back if we need to what about if the main see I'm not sure about the black and yellow now I kind of like the the white well Maybe I do walk that back. I like the white label. I actually kind of do like the white label. But I'm not sure it's working. Cree Lee Italic. Hey, Doldor. White with a black stroke. Yeah, we can, we can definitely go bold with the black stroke. What the hell is Creely Italic? Let's, let's find out. Creely Italic. I was going to stay away from the Italic fonts. I don't know, man. I think at this point... This is one of those sites where I'm actually scared what to bloody click on. I said, I thought when I looked at it, I was like, that looks modern. That looks futuristic. This is what it looks like, by the way, everyone. I'm not sure. But I'm willing to experiment. We'll experiment. This has been way harder than I thought it would be. We're going to spend the whole night and actually not get the labels done here. Do I swap my large black and yellow back? I, I like the white. I gotta be honest, I like the white labels. I think it's because it contrasts so sharply with the rest of the map. Because there's a lot of black on this map. 
but I'm not convinced about the colours of the small one, nor or the Cree leaf. <coughs> yeah, I'll get rid of it, Princess. It is weird. I'm on a random shuffle right now, and that one was weird. There you go. There you go. Get the blood going now. You know, the font's not disastrous. I feel like just the, the, the italic nature of it is just... It's introducing another element that makes it hard to read. It's small. We don't need it to compete with the main, um, you know, Latin. But it's got to be legible, and then we make it italic. You know, it's, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm really kind of digging this larger font here. So, but what I am thinking is. Not minus 75, maybe maybe something like that. And then we actually give it a uh, maybe a four stroke. And what if it didn't have the drop shadow? No, I think it needs a little bit of a drop shadow. What if the drop shadow is actually a little smaller? Maybe we can even get away with 45 on the opacity. Maybe 40. I like the white. I like the white. I think it contrasts so beautifully. I kind of like the white. We'll try the six. Let's try. Six might be a little heavy. What about five? What about five? Like a middle ground. What about five? And what if we did minus twenty five? Let's try that as our colours. So we're going to do you are uh, going to be converted to white. You are going to be converted to white. And then we are going to take you. We're going to put you back up here. We're going to copy the layer style on this one. Paste it on here. Some paste, so it's paste. Then we gotta go back to Coria. Remove this. After all of that, are we happy with it? I think I am. I'm actually just gonna get rid of these. These are just distracting me for now. We we don't care about these right now. Which really leaves that label underneath there. But maybe let's not worry about that right now. Maybe let's get our main labels done. And see how it looks. Then we'll dial in the uh, translation. Alright, let's do it. It was a fight, but we got there. You know what I don't have? Is I don't have freaking wine. So hold on a second.
Thank you. I'm gonna guess that was a little Miss Angel. It was. All right, we've got a font, we've got a size, we've got a character spacing, we've got the stroke, we've got the shadow. Let's stick in this folder for a moment. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We still got you minus. I think we said we were going to do 25. Let's make it a little bit easier to read. Alright. So let's copy you to here. I can't actually put these underneath, so I think I'm gonna let. Let's come up with a rule that if we've got to put them to the side, we put it slightly above. So we'll do slightly above, slightly above, and below. We'll try that. We'll noodle the positioning in a second. Let's get the names typed in first. Right. This is called... Holy balls. Kata... Katara... Katara... Katarak... Katarak... Tonium. Oh, and it's got to be all caps. Jesus Christ. All right. All right. Cat. Cata. 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 Cataract. Cataractonium. Cataractonium. Oh. It's like, I, no matter where I put this, that's, that's one big ass name. I would love to put it underneath, but if I put underneath there, it's going to overwrite that city there, you know? I would love to stick with the underneath, though. I really would. It's like, I don't really want to put it here. Do these have translations? No. No. That one does. Let, let's try it off to one side. Let's try it off to one side. I really don't want to put it off to one side. It's called Holy Balls. Isn't it? Cataractonium. Cataractonium. Apparently it doesn't exist today. It's gone. And this one is called... I want to get actually a little symbol for where legions are stationed. Because what I'm a... Oh, York, the one further down is going to have a legion next to it. I want to get a little e eagle symbol. That would be cute, actually. I'm going to do that. So this one is called Isorium. Okay, that's a little bit easier. Isorium. See, and if we put Isorium here, it overwrites York. That, that's a, we've, we've got to kind of put it to one side. Then once we've got our labels on, by the way, I'm going to have to get the list. I've got a list from the client that says you have to have all of these on the map. And we're going to check them off. We're going to check them off and make sure we've got them on the map. And if we don't, we're going to have to research where the hell they were. So this... A boracum. A boracum. York. Now the beautiful thing about this is because we've got them all, we've got the style on the folder, we could tweak the style on that folder level. 
and everything within the folder will inherit it. I am wondering about this. Like, no, I, I, I was, I was gonna say, do we, can we put it above? Like so. But that almost looks like, I don't, I don't think that's the way. I don't think that's the way. This is not the way. We'll stick with that for now. I'm concerned about this sitting on top of the forest though. It's actually not standing out particularly well. I might have to actually recolor a tree underneath it to make it stand out if that be needed. That U is actually hard to read, isn't it? I feel like I need to print out this map. Just print it out and see if the labels stand out. On the screen, those U's are a bitch. Don't worry, Princess. I know that you're um, trying to get yourself on a different shift. Ah, uh, yeah, you're going to do that double feature. Right, 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 right. And if you do do the double feature, I want you to tell me. I want you to tell me what you thought about it. And if you don't, you don't. There's no pressure here. But when you do watch it, I want to know your opinion. Oh, uh, J Jack acknowledged get back on that film critic thing that you were talking about last night. Lindum Matai. like to actually on the poster version of this map make these labels smaller i think i'm actually going to do a version for this type of print size and i'm going to do a version for this print size and i am going to actually do different labeling on the poster version because i want the beauty of the map to be able to come through in the poster that's what we're going to do a little extra work but i think it'll be worth it Cheers, Brian. Just came to me. Just ideas just falling out of my head. I mean, it's a pain in the ass, right? But then we could just totally change it up. All right, we've got Ratai. Thank you, Princess. Your opinion is always, always appreciated. I, I'm not sure I'm going to get away with this one underneath here. And here's why. It is a pretty big name. Let Lito Lito Ketum Kalte I think it's here. Uh, we might get away with that. 
What if I get away with that? I'm definitely going to put this map out. And I'm definitely going to take a look to see if the labels are coming through nicely. Sometimes you can't rely on like your monitor. Venonis. Good Roman name. Venonis. High cross nowadays. Alright, let's let's come back up here to these. I do like a map with labels on it. I do. Can I get away with just doing this? Will it inherit everything we've already done? Let's do Diva. Diva, come up here. My lovely, lovely little diva. Right, what's the one down the coast? The Zegontium. But strictly speaking, oh, we could do it underneath. We could do it underneath. That fits. That fits. Why couldn't we do a Rebia underneath? Apparently no freaking reason. I'm gonna leave it there. I, th I think we can get away with that. All right. So what's what's this one right here? Underneath Diva, Diva, Vera, Vera Conium. Join the Alyssa Faden channel to hear her butcher Roman town names. Buraconium. A little tiny town with a big huge name. Got a big huge heart. Iska. Why can't you... Iska Solovum. I think there's two words here. Iska Salor. Iska. Salor um. And you are going down here. We're going to get crunched for space a little bit right here. Oops, not that one. This one. Moridonum. Moridonum. that overlaps the edges but I want to have I want to have a consistent approach to labels we'll see we'll see if that's gonna work so then we've got Glevum Glevum now Gloucestershire Gloucester they're no, just Gloucester Glevum That's you, your Glevum. Yep, your Glevum. Then here.
Covinium. Covinium. Yeah, this is where the labeling starts to get a little nuts. We'll do a little tweaking, I think. We'll do a little tweaking of the positions, but let's get the text on the page. And then let's verify that we're not missing anything. So after Corinium, we've got Kaleba. Not a Starbucks size. Venta and do it. Do Nova, do Nova, Ria, do Nova, Ria. Now, Dorchester. Duh. No. Bar. Rear. Someone is going to have to spell check this. Make sure I didn't screw something up. Did you say Mentat? I did not say Mentat. I said Venta. Then did this. Lynn did this. You know one thing that I always think about is like Lynn Dennis was a place. It was a town. And now it's gone. Now okay, the Romans left, but why did Lynn Dennis eventually at what point in time did Lynn Dennis just disappear? It, did it just stop being a place? Right, here's another one of these. Iska. Here we go. Dom non e o rum. What the actual right now? Iska dom na dom non e. And I'm not gonna get that one. I'm not gonna get that one. That that one's killing me. Dom non Orium. See, that one I kind of want to put up here. I don't want to put it down here. I, I, think, I think we're going to judiciously tweak the positions of some. Like this one is hiding that beautiful coast. Maybe, maybe that's okay. Maybe that's okay for these coastal ones. Oh, I haven't got that one. Some of the city names. Some of the city names are nuts, princess. No joke. No joke. Mancu. Mancukium. Mancu. Ma'am. No, ma'am. Man, mamu, mamuk, man, mamukium, man, mamukium, mamuku. Like no, what am I saying? Did I even spell that right? Mamunk, ma, mamukium, ma, mamukium. That's Manchester. I hit save. Time check. Thank you. It is seven o'clock. I'm going to stream for about another half hour. Maybe. Princess, when you leave, I might get the rest of these settlement names on here and then call it. But I do have still one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I've got eleven more settlements to do. 
And after that, maybe that's a good spot for us to end it, because then I'm actually going to print this out, and I'm going to make sure that this is legible. Actually, I'm going to compare it. I'm not going to do this on stream, but I'm going to compare it to the cities that we have to have on here, and I'm going to note if we're missing anything. That's what I'm going to do. I also want to know what is at the end of this bloody road up here. It's killing me. I, I, I want to do a little bit of research. I've got some um, other printed maps of Rome. Um, I want to check them out. But anyway, in the meantime, let's get these suckers done. What have we got down here? Clausentium. Clausentium. That's going to have to go there. I've got no room above it. If I put that there... Could I put that there? And then the other one would come down here. Alright, let's, let's, let's just see. Let's just put this out there. Alright, see you princess, see you das. Always a pleasure, thank you for hanging out. I'll post the updated map tomorrow. Novi... Novio. Novio. I guess. Miss J! Everyone's leaving, Miss J! I will, um... I'll send this to you, Miss J, tomorrow. I want your opinion. We've been wrestling. We've been fighting with labels tonight. I would, I would like your opinion of the labels. I, I would like to, um, you know, for you to look at it and go, yeah, that works. I know that doesn't work. I value your opinion. The bris. We've been wrestling. We're trying to make sure that the font looks. Roman. And legible. And they are two completely different things. Juro Vernum. Juro Vernum. Miss Jake, we, we decided that this was going to be the labels for the print size, so they're nice and clear, but on the poster size like this, we're actually going to reduce the labels. So we're going to do, we're going to do two labeling endeavors right here. How big is the file size? Okay, um, well as a JPEG, it's just... 34 megabytes as a JPEG. The PSD is 692 megabytes. <laughs> I don't know. File, save as, I mean. What are you defining as print size? The 30 odd megabytes that I quoted just. 
Oh, display size. Oh, that, that's a different thing. Hold on a second. Nineteen by twenty-four. I wonder what this. We we got Venter cities. And we've got those Isca cities. I wonder what they are. That's about. Do I do I do I put this? I don't. I don't want to put that underneath. I really don't want to put that underneath. I think I'm going to do this. That was, oh, this this should be Cameldonium, Cameldonium, Camel O'Donnell, Camel O'Donnell. I'm spelling that all sorts of wrong. Camel O'Donnell. Bigger label. Ugh. Okay, you you can come underneath. You can come underneath. You can come up here. I don't. I, this is not going to handle being up here. It's going to go off the print area. That black line is the print area. So we're going to have to literally do this. We could try doing that, but it, it's needlessly cluttering up the center. So we're going to do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was my concern, Miss J. That was my concern. Those narrow uprights. I hear you. I hear you. And unfortunately, every single font that looks Roman has those narrow uprights. And it's killing me. That is my f concern. Oh, what did I just do? do think on the screen you get a different look than print so I am going to print this off and I'm going to take a look at it I'm actually tempted to print it off right after the stream as a verification you know check them out. Thank you, Miss J. I am going to check them. Alright. 
Maybe the answer is in there somewhere. I like that. Now, theoretically, I should just be able to select all of my layers. Change the font. Select all of them. Change the font. See, I like this in spirit. My gut. My gut is telling me that it isn't going to work. And I'm, I'm pretty sure my gut is correct. Freaking hell name is that? And change it over here. Well, maybe I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I think. And you know what? F uh, failing all else, I'll just make a quick action, you know, to change the font for me. And click action, click action, you know. I should be able to do a mass change easy enough. What is. Juro, Juro, Bri, Juro, Bri, Bri. That is a lot of labels. Juro, Bri, Bri. Oh, and we've got one more to do. We've got one more to do. And it is Gesori Gesoriacum. Theoretically, that's our settlements labeled. Do you have the black outline on the inside or outside? Outside. Do you have some ideas? Oh, you were thinking it was inside, thus making it thinner. No, it's definitely outside. I was actually going to do a file print, but I don't think that's going to answer the question if it's going to work or not. I honestly think at poster size, even a little bit smaller, these would work. My concern is at that size, I don't think they're going to. I mean, that is heavily pixelating on my screen right now. Like that that looks like you, you could you can't even read that. You can't read one label. But I know that that's not how it's gonna print. It's gonna print more like this. How about a white outline and then a black outer glow? Oh I see what you're saying, to make the font thicker. Alright. Okay. Alright, Miss Jane. Let's do a working session. Let's try it. So, we're going to do a white outline. We'll make it smaller. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not sure how small to make it. And then you said a black outer glow. Why am I... Oh, outer glow. I was like, why am I struggling to see outer glow? Why am I not seeing... What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? Yeah, I know, right? I, I actually, Miss J, I, I think you're onto something there. It thickened up the font, you know? I don't know why I did that. It thickened up the font. zoomed out too. That might be the way to go though. Bit more of a dark glow. Yeah, I hear you. Let's try that again. Um, dark glow, outer glow is currently 20, 22. That's 22 right there. This might be just a ticket. What are you doing? Go on. What are you doing? What are you doing? Come in. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, baby girl. Come on. I think you're on the right track, here, Miss G. I think you're on the right track. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not even sure we need the the drop shadow if if we go this route. The drop shadow, I think, is getting lost. Oh no, maybe it's not. No, I think maybe the drop shadow is helping. No, I think, I think you nailed it, girl. Look at that. Way zoomed out. Total clarity. You just nailed it. We got there. I'm so glad you joined. That was it. I actually feel like we could make them a little uh, smaller. That, that's that's spot on, that is. Can I do a... I, I can't do a mass edit from this layer. No, not, not by doing the folder. Out of curiosity. Yeah, look at that. I, you could do a mass change there, Miss J. I am so... I, I would love to do a font size that small, but I'm not sure we can get away with it. Do 
Do you think we could get away with a font size like that? Well, there you go, Miss J. After all of the things you taught me, I just like little old me push push a little bit back towards you. As long as you've got, I think the character pad open. You might be able to do it a bit, maybe with the text tool, maybe. But the the character window definitely works. Up the opacity of the dark lower touch. Yeah, okay. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's do 55. I almost feel like maybe 50. was 45 uh, yeah maybe 50 yeah let, let's try 50 I can't read it at that font size but I'm seeing a lot smaller than you are anyway I'm betting I'm betting that if we maybe up to 15 so it wasn't as horsey as it was, I don't. I don't think that's as large as it was. Right? Maybe it is. Are we back to the beginning now? Was it always fifteen? It feels like it's smaller. It feels like it's smaller. It's definitely smaller. I think it's quite a bit smaller. And then if we take Londinium here. And we make that uh, 18. I th yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's leave him above. Let's leave, leave him above. Miss J, I am glad that you came into the stream, young lady. I was not feeling it. I, I couldn't put my finger on what it was. And we had quite a few people in the stream earlier, like, all giving advice, which I like. I, I like that aspect of Twitch. But then it becomes a little bit like designed by committee and we were hitting so many different fonts and so many different styles. I think just working with you directly has nailed it. This is brilliant. I think I'm I think I'm feeling this. Now I think maybe one of the things that's wrong here is I'm just gonna quickly Try changing that to minus 10. I brought some of the, uh, the, the the actual sort of characters. The characters? Letters. Letter spacing closer together. Because that's like what they did with Latin. But um, I think spacing it out a little bit more is better. Yeah, damn girl, I think this is gonna work. I think this is gonna work. I think that was that, that was a trick right there. Can I actually get that up there? Can I do that? I'm, I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna stop thinking about it. I'm gonna let it go now. Let it go. Hey, 
Hand span and a half, easy to read. I think this is going to be it, girl. I think this is going to be it. I think that was the trick. I love that idea. Brilliant idea. Absolutely fantastic. I actually need to make you a VIP in this channel too. I keep forgetting to do it. My apologies. I should make you a moderator too. Because I completely trust you. Freaking brilliant. This is going to be the solid end to the stream that I wanted. This is good. I am going to want your opinion now because though we need to actually come up with a smaller or a different font. A smaller font but underneath. Like some of these like Londinium needs to have on, written underneath it London. Maybe, maybe, maybe the client doesn't care about that. Maybe the client doesn't care about that. Did, did I even think about asking a client? No, I didn't. I'm gonna ask the client if he wants the translations underneath. Because it's like, which one was it? Which one was it? I don't know, one of these is Colchester. And like, this one up here is Corbridge. Courier is Corbridge. London, obviously. So a lot of these have like translations. Maybe the client doesn't want the translation. I should ask him. Brian, you are definitely a VIP. I should make you a VIP. Right, and if it's if it's a, I'm gonna hit save. If they don't want the other names underneath, then we don't give a shit about that. And we can we just keep this thing looking real pretty. I'm actually gonna actually hide that one. Because I wasn't feeling it anyway. That was that was all wrong. This is looking a lot better. I'm gonna just quickly see. Like can I find Miss J in this where's Miss J there's Miss J click on her edit this is not the screen where I make you I've got to log into my Twitch. I've got to do it via Twitch. I can't do it in the Streamlabs chatbot. Okay, which I guess makes sense. Brian, right? No, exactly. I'm not discounting that. And basically what I'm working off is this. And I kind of, I, our labels I think are actually better than this, and our map is better than this. But I like seeing the English translations underneath them where it exists quite a bit. But that's another challenge, right? Is getting that translation under here in a way that could easily be read. Loving these labels now. Now I'm feeling it. Now I'm getting little goosebumps. Now this is rocking. This is what I was pushing for before. And I couldn't quite get there. This is great. A lot better. A lot better. Smaller fonts not taking over the whole map. Mmm. Much better. Hey, Phantom Jetty! Yay! Phantom Jet, you joined at the right time. Because the last hour has been me wrestling with fonts and not getting anywhere. Miss J came in, gave me some advice, like give me like, well try this, and it worked. And now it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna ask if they want the translations. I'm gonna ask them, because if I put it on there and they go, eh, I don't want it, 
We could sink a lot of hours for no reason at all. This is my um, city list that we need on here. And I actually think we're missing some. I, I am pretty damn sure we're missing some. Like Corineum. I don't think we have a Corineum on here. Londinium we do. I'm actually going to delete that. I know we're, I'm going to delete as we go. We've got Londinium. We've got York. Arboracum. We've got Arboracum. Corineum. Corinium. Are we really missing a Corinium? How can we be missing an entire city? We're missing Corinium, aren't we? Oh no, there it is! Corinium! Yay! Corinium! Alright. Aqua Sulis. We don't have Aquasulis on here. That's bath. Alright. Kaleva. Kaleva we've got. Camel Dunham. Camel Dunham, we've got. Iska. 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 Dumma, numma, 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 we um. Yes, we've got that. That's this one down there. Oh, Iska Augusta, we do not have. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, we're missing. We're missing two right now. Novio Magus. Yes. But they've, they've added an extra little bit onto that name, so I'm going to keep that there. Verulamium. Verul Verul oh, we got Verulamium. It's right there. Yeah. Lindum Colonia. I thought... I thought we had Lindum. Oh! They've also got a different name for this one. They've got the Lindum Colonia. Interesting. Alright, well, we'll keep that on there just in case. Ratai! Yeah, we've got that, and they've got more. They've got Ratai Coritanorum. Why? Why Why so much of a name? And also with Venta, they've got Venta Salorum. I like just Venta. And the little Bella. Venta. Veraconium. <laughs> what now? Alright, so this one. Viraconium. They want Viraconium Cornovirum. No. No. I'm going to have to talk to them about these labels. No. They have gone nuts with these labels. It's like they're just stringing Latin together for the sake of it. Um. Ooh, I don't think I had that one on there. Cataractonium. We got some settlements to add, peeps. We're gonna have to add some settlements. Well, maybe three. Maybe three. Or four. Oh, Brian, actually post that, will you please, my friend? Wait, you switch projects? You're working on two projects at once? Durnavaria. Durnavaria. Yeah, okay, we got him. Juroveranul. Yeah, we've got that, but they want to add... 
uh, extra words again. Glevum. Do we have Glevum? Yeah, we've got Glevum. Portus Dubris. Uh, they're calling it Portus Dubris. Okay, fine, 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 fine. The Butler map has a sooner deadline. I did something for Butler years ago, like eight years ago or so. That name rings a bell. Okay, we definitely don't have that one on the map. Basically, I'm working off this right here, and I'm going through Venta, Balagorum, and Baga 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 Baga. See, I we have one Venta on the map. I don't have Venta Balgarum. Venta Balgarum. I like that. Venta Balgarum. Okay. We do not have Venta Balgarum on this map. No. That's going to have to be one that gets added. Iska Solorium. Yes, we have that. Isorium Brigantum. Nope, we don't have that. Yeah, DJ. DJ Butler, I'm pretty damn sure. I am pretty sure. No, I'm pulling a Faden. I'm 60% sure. A long time ago. But I could be completely mistaken. As I am oft to be. Oh man, we're, we're actually missing a few settlements here. I think this is going to be the thing that we do over the weekend. Like on our Saturday stream. So far, these at the top I need to draw in. These down here have stupidly long names that are longer than what my reference map is using. So the ones with longer la uh, labels, it's like, okay, whatever. Let me, you know. I don't do Dragon Con. I've got, actually got a very dear friend that goes to Dragon Con, but I just, I just don't have the time off from the day job to do it. Logu Valium, Carlisle. We don't have Logu... God damn it. We are missing a lot of bloody settlements right here. This is why I added labels, folks. Jen, I know my limitations, okay? I, I do. I, I really do. I'm pulling a fade. I pull a fade in a lot. And there's also um, the three steps of fading. Because I'll say a word or a phrase, but it's wrong. So I'll take another guess and it's wrong. And then I'll get close on the third one. Three steps of fading. Mori Dunham. Mori Dunham. Come on. Yep, we've got Mori Dunham. Yay! So gun to you. Sigontium? Yeah, we got Sigontium. Fantastic. Man, yeah, we got Manchester. We got Manchester and we got High Cross. But are we calling High Cross something else? Are we calling High Cross something else? They're saying Veroni. And I think my reference map said Verones.
Veronis. It definitely says Veronis right here. They're wanting Veroni, so I'm not sure about that. So I'm just going to put question marks next to it. Alright, we're going to check out Brian's Instagram. But there's a lot of cartographers that actually join this channel. We just hang out. And they advise. And keep me honest and make me awesome. And I guess there's, there's Brian. Wow, Brian, yeah, because you were just up here. Yeah, you got a lot freaking bigger. It's cool that we're both working on real world maps at the same time. That's cool, man. That's really cool. You got a lot of cities to draw in there. I want cities and towns and I want waves and I want hills and I want forest and I want mountains. And I need it by next week. Get on it, Brian. Oh, roads. I want roads, and I want railroads, and I want major highways, byways, and streets, lanes. They've all got to be different symbols. Mayan ruins. It would look good, man. It would look good. I know it would look good. You always nail it, my friend. Alright, so this map apparently has about six more settlements to get on there. Which I'm not too concerned about, to be honest with you. I just need to research where the hell they're located. And then I need to talk to Golden Goblin about some of the labels that they want. Because some of the labels are like this freaking big. While my reference says it's this big. So I'm going to talk to him about that. This map, 150. Thereabouts. It's like 130, if you hit info, 130 to 240 AD, something like that. Am I the client? Am I the client for who? Oh, for Brian's back? I'd be a terrible client to have. So there you go. It is 138 to 160. So way narrower than I, narrower than I thought. We both are actually on Call of Cthulhu maps. Not only real world maps, but Call of Cthulhu maps. Yeah. He's on the modern one. I'm on the ancient one. That's how it should be. And it's a well-deserved reward, right? Alright, I think, I think that's me done for the evening. Oh, let's just move this label. Come here. There we go. Much nicer. Yeah, much nicer. Alright. I missed Jake. We actually should get you into some Call of Cthulhu stuff. I think actually you've got the hand for it. I think you'd like it. It's, it's not... I mean, I'm doing Invictus. I'm doing older shit, right? But, like, the modern maps, the more modern... I shouldn't modern. Like, Cthulhu by Gaslight, Victorian England, or the 1920s. Imagine drawing cities like that, trying to invoke the period. It's a cool style to work in. I think you'd enjoy it. I bought the Devil's Swamp too. I buy everything that you guys do.
you should look it up. And if you if you need any pointers, give me a shout. I'll point you to whatever resource I've got. It it's just the the maps are cool, girl. I think you'd like them. I think you'd really like them. All right, so let's talk about next stream because I'm going to end tonight's stream. I actually went a little bit long because the really cool peeps came along. Um, there's a few things that I, we still need to do on this map. We've got the frame to draw, and I, so with the frame, I want to make it feel Roman, but I don't want to just do a solid pillars that will look like shit. And I'm thinking about down here doing like some uh, pillar columns, maybe down here pillar columns, but then the rest of it maybe being a much thinner pillar, the ends at the top here, maybe with ivy going up it, I'm still undecided on that. With some kind of, I don't know, mosaic design or something going along the footer here, but thin, so it doesn't intrude on the map too much. And I've got some ideas for, you know, their, their faces and graffiti and shit like that that they like to do. We've got the um, key to do up here and the main name. I want to take these symbols from Miss J and sort of get them blended into the map a little bit more. We've got five or six settlements to actually add. Then I think it's done. We're working on that Saturday, okay? And I think we're going to do one of our three hour, four hour streams. We're going to start earlier in the day, around 11 o'clock my time. We're going to stream until two or three o'clock uh, clock in the afternoon. And we're going to do a frame. We're going to do the key. We're going to do fun stuff. And I do want to get some, like, the, the big, I think this is, like, Mari Nostrum or something like that. But we get the big labels going here. Label for this. Label for Scotland. Label here for Britannia. You know? That type of shit. Thank you, Brian. In fact, just before we end the stream, this is Brian's portfolio here. Cartography.games. Forward slash portfolio. Brian. Brian's work. Brian's pretty diverse. It's nice. Just the good Brian. I need to work on my site too, Brian. I really do. I literally own elizafaden.com and I've not done anything with it. Nice. Very cool. Cartography.games forward slash portfolio. Go check it out. Alright, Miss J, Brian, me, we all need to convene at some point, hang out together, one week, two weeks, just working on our portfolios on our site. some point we really need to do that. Alright, with that said, I'm going to hang it up here. So now, tomorrow I'm, I'll be painting miniatures. Saturday I'm back. We're going to push hard for getting this map real close to finished. I think that by, certainly by next week, partway through next week, this map is done. And it hasn't taken as long as I thought that it would. I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. I think it's shaped up pretty nicely. Everyone have a great rest of your evening or day, Miss J. And I'll see you on the weekend. Thanks, everyone, for hanging out. Including you lurkers out there. I see you. I see you. Everyone have a good one. And back on Saturday, we're going to nail this one. All right? You guys, girls hanging out at the end here, you're my favourites. Good night.